In today's video, we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop to create a body swap. Now that basically means we're going to take the body of somebody, in this case it's going to be this cheerleader, and we're going to then grab the head of somebody else, and in this case it's going to be Conor McGregor. Okay, and once we've got those bodies and heads sorted out, we're going to mix and match them, and end up with something that looks like this. Okay, so we've taken Conor McGregor's head and stuck it onto the cheerleader's body. Alright, so to get started on this, what we need to do is we need to open up Photoshop and we need to drag these two images, the cheerleader <coughs> and Conor McGregor, into Photoshop. Okay, so I'll pick them up, drag them and drop them over. You'll see you get two little tabs at the top, cheerleader and Conor McGregor. Okay, the first one we want to work with is Conor McGregor and what we need to do is zoom in on his head because we want to cut his head out. So I'm going to grab this magnifying glass here and just click and drag towards his head. Okay, and you can press the space bar to just move your page around with the hand tool, get in position nicely in the center of the page there. All right, now, there's a few ways we can cut out Conor McGregor's head. Okay, the way that I'm going to cut it out today is with the quick selection tool. Okay, and what we need to do with this quick selection tool is go at the top and make sure we've got the little brush with the plus sign selected. And then we simply just click and drag over his head and Photoshop starts making a selection around Conor McGregor's head. It's fairly accurate. Okay, it's going to get most of it without any issue. Okay, when we get down the bottom of his beard though, it kind of blends in with his body a bit and you can see it selects a little bit too much. Okay, so what we need to do is go back up the top to the little paintbrushes and grab the minus sign paintbrush there so we can deselect certain parts. And we're just going to come down under his beard here and just deselect those parts that we don't want selected. Okay, it might deselect a little bit too much. That's okay. Grab your plus brush again and try again. Okay, it's learning every time you grab a plus and minus brush what it should select and what it shouldn't. So eventually you're going to get the right amount selected. So it's just a matter of grabbing the plus and minus brushes over and over again until you get it just right. Now that's looking pretty good. Okay, but I can still see there's a few jagged bits that need fixing up. Okay, so what I can do to make this a little bit easier is go to the button at the top that says Select and Mask. And when you push that, it shows you what you've selected. You can see his beard is a little bit jagged down there, but the rest of his head is pretty good. Okay, so if you want, you still have your plus and minus brushes up the top. You can go around and keep selecting little bits if you want, just to try and get it a little bit neater. Okay, I've still selected a little bit too much at the bottom there. Probably need to deselect. Oops, that's way too much. Now there's something else you can play with as well. I'll just get this beard selected the best I can. That looks pretty good. A little bit jagged, but should be right. And what you can do over the right hand side here is play around with some of these levers to get a smoother cut around his head. So you can use the smooth lever here. Okay, and that will smooth out your cut. It's just a matter of moving it around and getting a nice effect. Okay, I think around the 50% mark there it does a pretty neat cut around his head. If you want to feather it, that will just soften the edges of the cut as well. You don't want to go too high with this one. Usually about one pixel is more than enough. Contrast. Um, you can bump it up a little bit if you want. I'm going to go up around, so I'll say, no more than 10%. And we don't need to shift the edge. Okay, but it's a pretty good selection there now. So what I'm going to do is just press OK down the bottom right there. And we've got a pretty clean cut around his head. So what we can do now is go to the edit menu and just copy that selection. So let's go to edit copy. Then go back to the cheerleader. Then go to edit and paste. Okay, and grab your move tool now from the top of your toolbox. And you can move Conor McGregor's head around. Now you're going to have to hold down shift and then drag out from the corner to make his head a bit bigger. If you can't see this bounding box which lets you resize it, you may need to go up the top and just check this box here that says show transform controls and that will allow you to resize his head to a, an appropriate size. Okay, it's going to fit on top of her head there. So just get it roughly the right size and then just move it off to the side for a moment. I'm going to do something else in just a sec. You will have to press the little tick at the top just to apply those changes to his head. Okay, now before we put his head on top of the cheerleader's body, what I'm going to do is grab my zoom tool again and just click and drag and zoom towards the cheerleader's head. I'm actually going to rub out some of this head, or paint over it actually. So I'm going to grab my paintbrush tool, or my brush tool, sorry. 
And I'm going to select an appropriate brush, just a nice soft brush like this one looks good. Um, and I'm going to have to go to my Layers panel and select the background layer. Now I can see that my brush size is way too big, so I'll just have to grab my size and bring it down to something a bit more appropriate. Now the colour I want to paint over her head with should be the same as the background. Okay, so choose your top little box over here, the foreground colour. Click on your background, which is white. Click OK. And simply paint over her head. And it's just going to make it disappear. Don't get rid of a neck yet. Probably just around there is what we want to get rid of. That's all we need to do. I'm going to press Control 0 now just to zoom back out. Control 0 just shows all of your page. You can grab your Move tool again. And grab Conor McGregor's head now. Move it over towards the cheerleader. Okay, I'm going to zoom back in here and I'm just going to do some minor adjustments to get it looking good. Okay, so zooming in, you can resize his head a little bit more probably, I'd say, just to get it looking realistic. You can even hover off one of the corners and give it a little bit of a rotate. And I think that looks pretty good, so I'll press the tick at the top to apply those changes. I'm pretty happy with the position of his head. Now the other issue we need to fix up is the skin colour. You can see it's just slightly different. Okay, he's got a little bit more orange in his skin over here than what the cheerleader does. So there's a few ways we can fix that. The way I'm going to do it is use the adjustments panel. So first of all, in your layers, make sure you've got layer 1 selected. That's Conor McGregor's head. Then go to your adjustments panel here. And we're going to go to the hue and saturation. That's the first one in the second row of icons there. I want you to press this little box down the bottom with the arrow pointing out of it. That means we're just going to affect Conor McGregor's head. We're not going to affect the whole body uh, with his effect. And I'm going to get the saturation and just drag it down a little bit. Saturation is basically the intensity of the color in the photo. So if I go up, it really brings the colors out. Okay, It doesn't look good at all. What we want to do is just suck a bit of the color out of the photo. So we're just going to bring it down to the left a bit. About minus 20 looks good, maybe a little bit higher, maybe minus 15 will look a bit more realistic. You can see the skin tones are starting to match up a little bit. Okay, so you can just close that properties box off once you've got that looking good. If you wanted to as well, you could go back to the layers and make sure you've got layer 1 selected again. That's Conor McGregor's head. Go back to adjustments and this time we might do the exposure adjustment. Make sure that your little box here with the arrow pointing out of the side is selected. Okay, that way we're just affecting Conor McGregor's head with this effect. And play with the exposure lever. You just brighten it slightly or darken it slightly, just so you can get the right amount of light on it. So it kind of matches up with the skin tone. So I'm just going to brighten it ever so slightly, maybe 0.05. And I'll just close that box. I'll press Ctrl-0 when I'm done. That's looking a bit better now. Now the other thing I want to do is crop out the parts of the photo I don't need. There's a lot of empty space in this photo that I think we can snip off. So to use the uh, crop tool, you just need to go down and select it from your toolbox. It's the fifth tool down. And you'll see a bounding box appears around the outside of your page. Simply grab the edges and drag it in around the bits you want to keep. I might get rid of that little watermark down near the cheerleader's knees as well. Press the tick at the top when you're done. That's looking pretty good. I actually think Conor McGregor's head could be a little bit bigger. So using my Move tool and making sure Show Transform Controls are selected, I'm just going to resize his head a little bit. And that's a little bit more in proportion now with the cheerleader's body. Alright, so that looks really good. That's how you do the head and body swap effect there in Photoshop. Uh, you can have a go now either using your photo or getting onto Google and finding two images of celebrities that you want to play around with and see if you can swap somebody's head with another person's body. Okay, when you're done, make sure you go to File, Save As, and you want to save it as a JPEG image. I'll just call it Cheerleader McGregor, and Save. Now a little box will appear asking you what quality you want to save at. Generally, quality 8 is fine. Okay, keeps the file size pretty small, and the quality is still nice and high. So click OK. That'll have your image all saved up. And you are done.